This episode of Kind of Funny Games Cast is brought to you by Blue Apron. Blue Apron is the number one fresh ingredient recipe delivery service in the country. The mission is to make incredible cooking accessible to everyone. Not all ingredients are created equal. Fresh, high quality ingredients make a real difference. So it's important to know where your food comes from. For less than $10 per person per meal, Blue Apron delivers seasonal recipes along with pre portioned ingredients to make delicious home cooked meals. Greg Miller, you might know the guy from his world renowned Instagram series, Cooking with Greggy. He's all about this blue apron goodness check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free with free shipping by going to blueapron.com slash gamecast you will love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home cooked meals with blue apron so don't wait that's blueapron.com slash gamecast no s in there blue apron better way to cook What's up, guys? Welcome to the first ever episode 114 of the Kind of Funny Games cast. As always, I'm Tim Geddes, joined by one half of the coolest dudes in video games, Greg Miller. It's me. I put stuff in my hair because I already had the stuff in my hair, but I've mm. noticed recently on the morning shows, I'm just getting too laissez-faire about it. Yeah. I'm just coming in. The hair's doing it's whatever. Work. It's too fluffy. <clears throat> I need to cut it, but I need I need to let it go a little bit longer. What's yeah. in it? What are you What are you using? What right product now is I'm it? using the Garnier Fruitis. Ooh, the Fruitis. Fruitis. Yeah, Fruitis. Ooh, yeah, that's a good do you, smell you do something of that when you then? No. Ooh, ooh, the old Garnier Fruitis ads. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the diamonds. The name's Diamonds and Guns. Ear, is the name fr- of the song. A little Fruitis made its way <laughs> into, <laughs> your, into the ear. Into the ear canal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diamonds and Guns by uh, the Transplants. Is this really the song? Because I'm going to download this song. I bought that album. Uh, because of the Garnier for T-Sets? Uh, no, because they had a song <laughs> featured on Tony Hawk's Underground called California Babylon. Now, here's my Bought next... that, heard the Garnier for T-Sets song in it. I'm like, holy shit. Here's my next I question about shampoos. Mm-hmm. You'll remember, he's too young. And we'll introduce you in a second. It doesn't matter till it does, then. It doesn't matter till we get It was there. Herbal Essence, right? That was the one where they, they, the girls would act like they're having an orgasm. Absolutely. Using it, right? it Just essence. making sure. Of Just course. making sure. And they, I would, remember they, that. they would be underneath like a waterfall. Yes. Yeah. 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 They're, like, like, oh, they're always yeah. like doing their hair in like the airport bathroom or some right, weird right. thing. Yeah. And the Come husband on. would look in and write, like, what's like, going what's on? Who's it's fucking like, my wife? Oh, it's right. just the shampoo. No, it's the shampoo. Okay. It's all good. And joining us for the first time, Patreon supporter himself, Tom Bach. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello, Tom Bach. Thank you so much. You, of course, supported us on the Patreon level over at patreon.com slash kind of funny games to true. come on the show. You've been and supporting us a long that's time. That's the thing. You've been supporting us for a very long time. We've done multiple Google Hangouts with you we have, over the we have. years. It's been fantastic. Yeah. In fact, I think I was looking back. I think it was February of 2015 ish. Was that the wow. original Patreon? I think that well, was we, really close. Well, we, yeah, yeah. January 50, 2015 is when we launched Kind of Funny Games. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Followed you guys at IGN, of course, like like most people did, and thought you were insanely crazy to leave at the time. And we were, still fact, are. I, I, yep. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I was at, at my 10 year uh, anniversary in Cabo. I'll never forget telling my wife the entire story. Wait, you wait, wait! You're on your ten, your decade. We got married in Cabo. You're on your decade anniversary in Cabo, and, you, and talking about kind of funny. Right? And, and your yeah. pillow talk <laughs> is, "Hey, honey, these morons these left guys. a great <laughs> video game." My job. lovely wife Anna. Yes. No. Hello, um, Anna. We, we we were having lunch, and we were just talking about you know what's coming in the future, talking about job stuff, and I I remember telling her the whole story. Like, there's these guys I was kind of watching. They went off on their own. I have no idea what they're thinking. Like, is this an actual business they can go sure. do? And at the time, I think, I don't know, it was 20 bucks a month or 15 bucks a yeah, month yeah. on Patreon and had no idea at the time what it was going to be. Yeah. And I'm, I'm assuming she plays games. She was all over this. She wanted uh, yeah, to get yeah, in. Not so much. No, no, okay. no, okay. no. Okay. not her thing. Probably looks at me and like, what in the world's a grown man doing playing You're games? Like, I'll make my own money, woman. I'll do what I want. <laughs> I'll do what I want. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to buy this huge TV and yeah. spend this. Yes. I, I, so I'm like the guy that has, and this is super embarrassing, but I probably have a strategy guide for every single game that I oh. own. Like I'm that guy. Okay. So, wait, still. Like now in still, 2017. Still, well, now they look like such nice coffee table books. Well, it's, it's some of them. Dude, there's do. some nice ones, by the yeah, way. There there's is. some really amazing ones. No, like, I just got the Andromeda one. It's like a nice hardback one. Oh the God. Horizon ones. Like, wow. there's some really nice ones. And not because I want to skip ahead and figure stuff out, but I'm super interested in sort of what what do the developers intend to do. And sure. I usually don't look at them until the game's done with. Yeah. But. Yeah, it's. I think my wife's embarrassed to have people. I was come gonna to say, the house. what does she think of that collection? No, she she does not like the collection. So I've got a room in the house. It's the, the man the cave, cave room, yeah, right? Yeah. You got the nerd cave. You got to have the nerd cave. It's got all the games. It's got like it's obscene amount of strategy guides. I'll have to take a picture <laughs> of it. I've never I, I, someone that has a thing for strategy guides. Dude, That's it's crazy. Is it crazy? So I'll, I will I will send a picture out. Please you guys do. Kevin will put it, it in. It's, yeah. pretty, it's if you can get it, I guess in the next like twenty four hours. I I. I th- 
I think I'm opening myself up to some huge criticism with it, but it's no, dude, no, like I'm, I'm super interested in it. Guys. Like I don't know, it's my thing. Like I love, I, I almost it when, when I go buy, and I'm still sort of a hard copy game guy. So mm-hmm. like I'll get okay. them on Amazon okay. and get the discount, which is fantastic, right? And I always end up getting the strategy. Like every single, if they don't have a strategy guide, I get really. So then here's my question for how you play games then. Mm -hmm. Are you, do you have a backlog, which then means you have a backlog of strategy guides? (laughs) (laughs) That's like very meta. All All right. right? You have the game still sealed in the wrap, and then you have the strategy guides still sealed in the wrap. I do because I get them together. I always get them together. Like I very rarely will get a game and then two months later go, you know, I kind of want to get the strategy guide. And sure, sure. Like the Zelda strategy, and I actually show my wife oftentimes the. the strategy guides are insane. Have you ever op- like opened yeah. the Zelda strategy guide? I mean, it's like an encyclopedia. The Pokemon like, ones these days are insane too. I mean, I insane. remember back in the day, like I was addicted to. So I mean, Nintendo Power was like my Bible, and they would have the the players' guides, and like they treated the the players' guides, which was Nintendo strategy guideline. They treated them as kind of extensions of the magazine. Right. So I would <clears throat> I would buy these strategy guides for games that I didn't even have, just because I, I liked the presentation you want collection, of it. Right? Yep. I wanted the collection and and all that. And then when it kind of when I got into the Final Fantasy games, like I remember the Final Fantasy Ten one from Braddy Games right. it was like that one's that huge thick. for 15 yeah. it's, this, I, it's like yeah. a bible they're the thing crazy is huge. and I loved them and the Pokemon ones I was all See, about sure and that was the thing is I think right, sorry you're, you want them for the insight into the game and what the dev wanted to do I very rarely do them because I want to Get everything, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Well, there's I, the internet for that too. So exactly, <laughs> and YouTube. <laughs> yeah, right. how to get through this? Cool. R- right, exactly. No, it's more. It's more just yeah. for the to, to see what the whole. I mean, you guys. Know, I mean, these games take three, four years to develop, sure. and I'm really interested in sort of that, the process and what this, you know, thing comes out as at the end. So I don't. I don't do it to kind of sneak. Way sure, 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 and and find quicker ways. It's well, more I, usually after. I always think about the time Mike O'Brien gave me, and like, because he made he got so mad at me once because I was at a blockbuster going out of business sale, and I passed on buying Ocarina of Time gold cart, and they had it for oh. like five bucks, and I was like, "No, nah, I'm good." And he's like, "You're an idiot. You're an idiot. You have Do to it. play That's this." So and he funny. gave me his yeah. cartridge, and he gave me the strategy guide because he's like, "There's just so much to do in this game. You'll never find yeah. it all. You need to go see what's happening." I mean, I remember when uh, Best Buy every once in a while would do like at the end of the year they'd try to get rid of all the strategy guides that nobody bought, and so sure. they would have sales where they're like a penny each. Right. I remember just buying a whole bunch of them for games. I was like, I might get this one day, yeah. and I just want to have well, it. Well, there's always they're, different always, they're always cool yeah. as art books too. And they like, are. See what some it of them are really nice. Stories. Like a lot of them will do some kind of artwork in the back or whatever yeah. i mean like the skyrim one that I, that thing is it's out, it's like it is yeah. it, it's yeah. amazing that there's that much content in a game that you could write a book i mean that that's like a whole separate development just to do the book oh I, it totally is right like I, I, who are I, I was who are these people who do these books who like, are these people who are these people? yeah but look, seriously who, no who, who i've met a few are of they them. sitting down with the developers Paul and moriarty yeah, yeah. You know, i have yeah, 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 on my bookshelf at home i do have my uh Smash Brothers N64 guide signed by the author Craig Harris that I'm always super stoked to have. Craig Harris Craig wrote worked the on that guide. guide? Yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. smash. Like that, yeah. that's a weird one to do a guide for. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I guess the powers. I have, and I have there's a lot of I, there's a lot of moves, right? How you do moves? Right? How you do moves? What do you do that? Sure. I have that guide still. I have my Superman 64 guide. Uh, I remember. I think the last guide I bought was Metal Gear Solid 4 because it was like mm. end of an era this is it for Snake it came in it was hardcover yep, right, it right. was an art book it had Kojima stories in it it was yep. like that's fucking dope yeah the, the, it, it is a whole it, not that I read them all cover to cover obviously but it's I don't know super interesting so I'll send a picture it'll embarrass me I'm sure to see so the thousands of dollars I've spent on strategy guides that sit in a bookshelf you were talking about your you know the wife's right re- you know shoved you in a room yep. that's where it's all got to stay yep. and the kids come in though so I've got okay. two kids okay. they come in and are they allowed to play games uh, sure yeah they, they, uh, so I have an 11 year old and a 7 year old about oh, okay, 10 okay. 11 and 7 right okay. two girls Olivia oh, nice. and Lila yeah fantastic and they they they're still doing a lot of like the Robloxy kind of stuff, right? So they do a lot of. I don't know if you guys know much about. I don't know some, Roblox some, like some of these. No. This is like leapfrog crap, boring. No, no, no. They're games. actually really cool. Leapfrog yeah. crap. <laughs> that was always the worst, right? I'm like, oh, my kids playing games. Oh, what leapfrog? I'm like, get the no, fuck no, no. out of here. No, no, no. They're like so they're like uh, online Minecraft basically. So oh. they're browser based. Um, where they can set up different trials to do different things. So it's kind of cool. Like yeah. people will come in and invent stuff. And so they're really into that kind of stuff. That's neat. That's neat. They're also huge into watching, which is insane. They watch so many YouTube videos of... W- witches? Uh, f- f- do which what? is insane? Uh, no, w- witches. No, oh, which, which is, is insane. insane. Oh, I was like, what, they're, they're, what is my, this YouTube My kids, my kids are witches. We, we <laughs> have like sort of alt. alt, alt I have my witches. neat nerd room. Right. My wife has her witch room. <laughs> the witch room. Cauldron <laughs> and her brooms up on the wall. Raises the kids as witches. No, they... Uh, <laughs> 
they log so many hours watching the the Minecraft videos sure, and stuff like sure. that. Right? Just endless. But they're both gamers. Lego games, which are great to play nice. with kids, right? So we've got. I so think are the I've, kids playing with Legos though, like real Legos. They do. Yeah, okay, they're good. both they're both big Lego players. Are they doing it Lego does. Dimensions? Uh, they do. We've done t- so Lego much Dimensions, like a world. Just worlds, got the new yeah. Batman Lego Dimensions from nice. the new movie and stuff, right? Which we still haven't built all of it yet. But th- they're both gamers. But I, I'm sure, as every parent will, who's a gamer, will admit, there's some stuff I'm sure they've seen me do that I probably think back and go, should they have watched? Sure. Me just decapitate this <laughs> thing. <laughs> But Fuck this woman for health orbs. Right. But, <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to it's Kratos. got a war. What do you want me to do? <laughs> but in a, but in, in, in a funny way, like my youngest, is she's and the, she really is desensitized to it. Like it, the separation of it, she knows it's not real and doesn't, yeah. it doesn't even affect her. Like she just going like yeah whatever. But it's like Resident Evil, they were watching the other. I'm like I probably shouldn't be letting yeah. them watch yeah. too much. Put on of the this. VR headset, honey. Yeah, yeah, and and they do. They, they'll do VR. They love it. They'll get all kind of into just you know some of the. Have you guys seen like the new uh, YouTube uh, VR stuff? Have you seen? I've not of tried that? it. No. So you can do videos now, and there's on the PlayStation browser on the on the or, PSVR yeah, 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 okay. through the YouTube app. Okay. They have a whole section of, and some of these are insane. Like someone jumping off the Dubai Tower, filming it. Oh no. Right, no. and it's 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 a regular <laughs> video that you would just watch on YouTube as any other video, but it's in full VR. It's crazy. Have you watched the VR porn yet? Uh, I have not. Because I did that. Any? I did Is that. It, did you really? Yeah, it's disturbing. I, I don't. I don't. There, there's certain. Yeah, I don't think. It's, it's like, like IMAX. It's oh, like, it's like IMAX, IMAX, except you're paralyzed with someone on top of you. And then, like, when they get up close, the perspective's all weird. Their their forehead looks like an IMAX screen. So is and that's what I'm looking at in porn. I'm judging your forehead. Like that's forehead, what I want to know. Man. That, 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 that can't lead anywhere good, can it? No, I mean, no. there, there's there's things well, for I mean, VR, but that's that's not... I, mean, well, that's I the, get that like, that's, that's the logical weird, that's, thing people would think, but, man, that's I don't, I don't, that, I don't want that. I mean, that's where I mean, that, VR will either succeed or fail based on porn. Like it, they need like to Blu-ray. figure out a way to make it DVD. and every single yeah yeah to every technological that's that thing existed, yeah porn so. touches yeah. yeah well maybe just wa- maybe like the, the watching like the watching part of porn which is porn but the uh, the YouTube video example maybe yeah. that's where rather than you being in it like uh-huh. I don't think I want to be in VR porn maybe the watching part of VR porn is where it so when you're jumping off the tower you're not in the first person perspective no or? you absolutely are you're oh, okay, 100% okay, 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 okay. the guy like you can see your wings you can you, you gotta go ch- it's really pretty huh. compelling strange cool. they launched it about a month ago yeah I remember hearing that they were doing it but I haven't had a chance and to I, go I, I still haven't played that Ghostbusters VR I, game I had no yeah, I, haven't either. I had no idea I haven't played the uh, Tim Schafer one either what is the, the oh, Rhombus of Ruin yeah, yeah, yeah. Rhombus of Ruin have you yeah. played it yeah. Yeah. good yeah. yeah I mean it's it's longer than I thought it would be I haven't played the final version I've just played preview things of it Yeah. and I'm it's interesting that it's as long as it is. I like love that they did right? that, by the way. That yeah. was a perfect thing for them. Uh, yeah. I can't wait to check it out. Well, I mean, that's, and that's, you know, when we had Tim on at launch to talk about it, that's what I love about Double Fine is that they will take those chances and they will make Connect games and they will do all this Right, even if crap. it's not got a huge payoff, it's a, yeah. it's a thing the community and the fans want, right? Mm-hmm. No, but there, there's ones of you running like with Elephant. I mean, you should, you should definitely, it's a little strange v- use of VR, but it's, sure. it, you think, I, I was thinking about the places you're going to be able to, the, the, the good stuff that VR can bring, whether it's, you can visit places in the world you've never even thought about sure. visiting in a way that is not looking at a picture, right? Go to the Taj Mahal and walk around, go to Niagara Falls and walk around, right? There's some really cool well, the, stuff that they're yeah. going to be able to This is to all stuff we talked about at the launch of it, right? Mm-hmm. When right. Colin was like, the real applications are outside of gaming and way what you do with it. it. And right. like, I feel like that's a huge, if Sony this year, and I know we're going to talk about E3 eventually, but if Sony at this year's E3 doesn't have it, Put on your PlayStation VR headset and be in the front row and be backstage and be oh, in the wing and do all the same stuff. If they don't have that, it's like, well, what like, the fuck are you guys, guys doing? Like, that's yeah. an easy Dude, slam that is, dunk that I, you've I, had a I long time to work on. Never connected that dot. That would be amazing to right. have come come to see. Yeah, and that's the whole thing of like, PSX how do you make next you? Year, how do you, I'm there. Exactly. I'm watching exactly. It, right. How do you make your presentation? Wow. You know, something that nobody else can do, and that's one of the ways. Mm-hmm. Now, here's my question yeah. though. Before we get off yeah, of yeah. you just being a family man, having this stuff. So the wife doesn't play games doesn't play games she'll play overcooked oh, okay yeah so of we, course. we'll do Everybody and we'll fight like cats and dogs sure. because the kids love to troll so they are as kids they're will they're giving be, bad advice they'll, they'll, you know the raccoon in the wheelchair yep. yeah oh My yeah favorite. let something catch on fire raccoon wheelchair fire extinguisher spin around oldest daughter just laugh her ass nice, off nice, trolling nice, nice. and eventually we all get frustrated and leave yeah right? okay that's, good so real quality family time quality family time good yeah. job, good job. Good but she will play overcooked so that's good but so, the rest of it she'll watch a little bit mm-hmm. watches tomb raider a well, little how does bit. she feel then about like the love of her life 
the father of her children being obsessed with video games and spending so much on strategy guys. Oh my god, if we pinned her down like truth serumed her, uh, I don't know that I want to hear that answer <laughs> necessarily. You love me, honey, don't you? Yeah. So what does she think about this then? Because this is another level of this video a- game geekdom of like, no, no, I like these idiots so much <laughs> that I'm going to continue to give them money and then come on their show and just talk. And- yeah, yeah. Well, she knows that I have sort of like the secret. I, look, I've, I've been, I've worked in IT industry, worked for a big IT company, been there for 25 years, great company. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. She knows my secret dream is to do something in this industry. Like oh, I would nice. love to do something. I don't know what it would be given my background and what I've done, but she knows this is kind of my passion and my thing. Yeah. And so I think because it's a, hopefully a, you know, non-destructive, there's nothing bad that comes out of it other than me spending probably far too much money and time uh, what I could be doing other things. She totally supports it. Okay. Right. Cause she knows that like, geez, I would love to find something to do in this industry that would, sure. you know, be a passion of mine to go do it. So she's cool with it. But yeah, I think she probably thinks it's, well, I mean, you guys, I mean, obviously gaming in general, that's what I kind of love about the generation. So I grew up with like the Intellivision. You guys remember Intellivision way back when? I've read about it in history books. We've read about it in history books. It's an actual thing that existed, right? I think that was our, I, that was in 1980, I want to say, right? So I've been a gamer my whole life and kind of gone through all the consoles and done all the kind of stuff you know, Atari's and, and all of that is um, so many people are now old enough. Obviously you see the, the uncharted and these really deep stories. It's mm-hmm, I think mm-hmm. it's just a cool time to be a little bit older Oh yeah, and see where this industry can go right. and where it has gone and the types of things that it's. So I, th- I think she knows that stuff exists. I mean, she just looks at it again, the thickness of these guys like, wow, that's a, this, this yeah. isn't, a, you know, a bunch of teens shooting each other in call no, of duty. And yeah. it's like this hollow thing, but that, that exists too. Yeah, and she's aware of that. Well, but I that, think she separates, and I mean, like we all do, right? I'm a little bit younger than you, not by much, mm-hmm. but that is the thing of the where I do count myself blessed that I've been that I've been in video games since you know Sega Master System, but NES yeah. was there too. I knew what it was, so I I do have that timeline, that context for where this all started and where it all went, and the fact that you know I did get to a point where I remember like I'm gonna fall out of games, and it wasn't because here's Metal Gear, and like oh my god, this is what it's going to be, and to stop and think about your children now growing up and only knowing that only world knowing that, and only right. knowing that this is what it can be to think about the games they're going to make when you talk to Neil Druckmann who talks about the, you know, the eight big games that inspired right, him. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. The unbelievably complex storytelling and all the stuff that games can be. Um, yeah. So I think, I think from that standpoint, the, the there's, I think for all, and, and there is still that younger element too, that is really pervasive and still always going to be there. Sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right? Games are always, and I mean, that's the whole thing where people are like, we need to change the name of this. It needs to be interactive entertainment or something to get away from games. Cause games does imply right. a mm. waste of time. I'm going to be, it's just a dumb yeah. kids thing, blah, 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 blah. But I know totally game, video games are always going to attract a younger audience, but then there is now such a breath of them. And like, I always talk about this, the silly putty that there's a game for every mood you're yep. in. There and is. games right. mean, games mean so much. And what, what's cool for me is like growing up in it, I, you know, I was born in 89, which means that the first system that I really kind of had was the Super Nintendo at the tail end. And then N64 was like, I was five when it came out. I graduated college in 90. (laughs) <laughs> but, uh, but, but, but I was, I, I was in 1990 when you were graduating, I was finishing first grade, right? Kindergarten, first grade. Yeah. First grade. There you go. Yeah. There you go. We got generations here. I feel but, really bad too for you that you know you got you were born in '89, so you missed Ghostbusters two in theaters. Yeah, I guess you that, never that understood a, what a big okay moment though. that was. I, my fifth you, birthday you, was Power Rangers. You made it through. Theaters, you made it through. So it was fun. But you uh, know what's weird though? And I will say one thing, not to interrupt you, but the, I in in what I do now with other you know forty something men is, th- there are definitely times I don't admit to being a gamer. Mm, really? Right? Really? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you guys kind of live in this world, right? So it's we're not, in a bubble, man. Totally. We're in a bubble, so you don't. I mean, so there's lots of stuff. I mean, I'm sure there's people I work with now that would be. I mean, say they're offended is not the right word, but just be like, really? Games? Yeah. Games? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a vice president at a big IT company and you're going to, that's what you do? Right. Right. Well, so many people, I always talk about it, right? That so many people's education on games stops at Mario. They play that and they're like, or oh, call, that's. Or Call of Duty. And that's is, not is for me, negative. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, For the, the bro, yeah, yeah, exactly, the, exactly. The bro shooter. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's the shooting each other, mindlessly violent. The stuff they've seen on Capitol Hill. Right. When people have gotten into trouble for different, they don't, they don't know the. The horizon. The breath. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? They don't, they don't see it. There's such a big scope of, of, of everything. And what I was saying a second ago is that I kind of grew up with this place where Super Nintendo and N64 were my first real gamings. But because of that, that allowed me to go to garage sales and hang out with Kevin mm. and get the NES and buy for $18 a box full of a bazillion different Which is games. Crazy, That's right? a great yeah, point to catch too. up on and kind of like just binge through sure. yeah. all these experiences. And then to read, grow up reading magazines and realize that I love video games as a culture more so than just a like oh there's 
like the way that I enjoy movies, right? They come out and I watch them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love movies. Movies is unfair too because I'm also in that. But with games, I fell in love with the history of it, the yep. future of it, the the entire uh, industry. Yep. And then it allowed me to do, even though I didn't grow up playing Metroid, mm. I went back and played Metroid. And, and I completely see the completely saw it and yeah. fell in love with it in a way that I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I get where the Collins of the world come from. Sure. You know? That's a fascinating point. You're living the dream I always think of. Of I always think of, man, wouldn't it be great to time travel, to jump ahead seven years and watch oh, yeah. all of the DC Cinematic Universe just to see how it came out and not have to <laughs> wait for these yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah. But you, it's the same but thing that, for is, games. Is. What is Sucker Punch working on? Blah, 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 blah. What's Death Stranding and like? And the point I'm making is your kids yeah. growing up, like, yeah, they're playing the Legos and that's what the games are to them. But I do feel like uh, all the major publishers, specifically Nintendo and um, PlayStation and Xbox to an extent, uh, actually, no, Xbox is killing it as well in making sure that all of their iconic games are like this is where all these remasters and stuff. And right. while we all don't like it now <clears throat> and we hate the ports and all that stuff, overall, in terms of like it's an easy topic, if, if it's, cash, right, if, if, if it's, if it's done in a cash grabby kind of way, right? Yeah, but like I do think that with things like virtual console being ubiquitous and the fact that PSN has so many different games and, and a lot of them being PS1 classics sure. and all yep. that, the fact that these kids growing up. If they do hit that point of, I'm just going to play what's given to me and go from there, cool. That's your way to enjoy video games. But for the people that grow up, they're like, I love this. I love it. What I want to know the history what, of What it. is the most important yeah, yeah. game right? of all time? Like, right. what what games do I need to play to know where things came from? Because all of they're it is go iterative, back and play. right? Kevin and I were talking earlier about how Horizon in particular, the, the, the bar that it has set is so big, right, that it's either a great thing for the industry because now people are going to kind of see that and compare to that and, and aspire to that. Yeah. But it's also potentially really dangerous because think of the development dollars, time, effort that have to go into topping a game like Horizon. I mean, sure. this puts developers in a really... So so to go back and see that history and how it's all built, mm. n- none of it would be here without what came before it. Yeah, sure. All, all of it is built on that thing. And so it's cool. It I, I'd love to be able to go do that because I, I, if you're there for the ride, you don't... You don't you don't see the forest for the trees. You don't see the forest for the trees, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. And, and what's cool too is it, it gives you everybody has their own perspective, and they're nice. allowed. Yeah, they're they're, they're allowed around. to. <laughs> yeah, they're allowed to uh, kind of see see it through the lens of knowing it's important, knowing that it's not going to hold up as well as the new version you, that you right. you're familiar with right. now, and all of that, right? Like when it comes to like thinking of Zelda, for example, right? There are kids now that are going to grow up with Breath of the Wild, and that is what they think. That's Zelda. their Zelda. Can you imagine yeah. that right. being like your first? Right. Um, in the same right. way that Ocarina. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. Go for it. No, that, this is when we were hanging out with Craig, a stuttering Craig from oh, Screw yeah. Attack, t- mm-hmm. Screw Attack, and he talked about how yeah, he he's his daughter now. He's taking through the games, and he sat down and they played Legend of Zelda, and they were enjoying it. And then like two uh, nights later, he's I like, love to take "Do you want to see some of that. Yeah, what yeah, yeah. Breath of Wild looks like?" And pops that, and her head like exploded, and yeah. he killed his right. daughter, and right. he had a barrier, and then he hired a new daughter, and this and is the daughter. <laughs> we've we've all been there. We've we've, we've all done that. We've all, yeah. we've all. But you know, I hadn't thought about that. Is going. I, that's one thing with my kids is beca- besides maybe occasionally diving into some of the stuff that may be on Virtual Console or sure. like I was playing Metroid the other day, which is still phenomenal. I Super Metroid about or Super Metroid? Them, uh, Super Metroid. Okay. Yeah. I haven't I haven't taken them back through some of those. I'd love to, you know, because they're watching me do Zelda now. Yeah. And, but like you said, if that's all they're going to know, that's a crazy jumping in point to yeah. think of, right? Here's so, my next question for you yeah. as a grown-up gamer. Yes. That's, and I think that's what this topic the has become. Up, yeah. the I, that should gamers. be like, I should probably, that should be a Twitter hand, grown-up gamer. Grown-up gamer. Although With your ki- kids watching, mm-hmm. do they sit there and just watch for hours on end? Do they? Is it 15-minute increments they're popping in, popping out for? Do they want the controller? Are they being annoying? Because um, I'm in love with this French Canadian girl, and I'm probably one day gonna have a kid with her. I love her so much. Je parle français. <laughs> Are you speaking any yet? Are you picking any up? Oh, oui. So um, I speak. I had like 15 years of French, so I can I can help. Oh wow. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, uh, you're, um, like, they, they've changed over time actually. So I, it started where we would do a lot of like the Skylander stuff, right? Mm. So I've, good lord, I've probably got more Skylanders toys than I would ever want to claim that I've got. Um, do they still like Skylanders? Uh, they don't. As of the last one, no. I okay. think they kind of wore out a little bit. Gotcha. But they would put in dozens and dozens of hours into Skylanders for sure. Uh, the Lego games, absolutely. Like, I, I, I mean, we don't trophy hunt for Platinums, but we've put hundreds of hours, sorry. S- some I do. The, they absolutely have put, uh, and, and their attention spans are long. As they've gotten older and a little more scattered, it probably is more 30-minute increments. They'll mm-hmm. jump in, they'll jump out, they'll do things a little more sporadic. But they'll, they'll sit and watch. I mean, they'll, I mean, my youngest daughter, Lila, will watch... Horizon as long as I'll play it. Nice. I mean, I mean, 
PS4 Pro Horizon is like a religious it's, experience oh just looking at graph. I mean, that thing is, it's sickening. Yeah, I mean, well, speaking of that, we were talking about this a little bit earlier. So you have the, the LG OLED E6 series the TV. E6, yeah, sadly, I have the, the C6 huge, series. Yeah. And yeah. Same just, panel, by the way. I don't know if yeah, you know the no, same exactly. panel, so it's they, good. You, you got ripped yep. off with the E6. Yeah, yeah, it's just the sound that. bar. It's yeah. just the difference. But I mean, right? this is one of those things where it's like yeah. out of all the, 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 the items that I've bought in the last like 30 years of my life, not even th- I'm not even 30. But like this is how good this damn TV is. Wow! Right? Oh, it's that. Yeah. T- it is that damn. This is the like, curve one you have. Yes, it is, and it's only curved because that's the only. Mine's one. the flat. It's all yeah. 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 Whatever. Yeah, yeah. There's the B6, C6, E6, G6. All of them are fantastic, and they're the type of TV that you dream of. Mm. And when you see it, you're just like, holy shit! So I didn't. I didn't know it because the pro launch was so bizarre. I watched you guys the day you did the pro launch, right? And it was such a shit show, right? It was like you. You couldn't explain it over the... I mean, it was just bad, right? So I was really hesitant on the Pro. Yeah. Insane. Really? To have a Pro on that TV. Yep. That, like, that's the thing. I can't you even need, imagine need going back right. now. And I, I'm, I'm a multi-console guy, right? So I usually choose which console I play on based on some really simple... So I, I was an Xbox guy last generation really because of the controller. Like, just like the controller a little bit sure. better. It was not... I, I'm not a fanboy of... I just like games broadly, right? This generation was... Uh, Started off PlayStation, and then I went back to Xbox solely because of the external hard drive. Because I got mm. so tired of juggling stuff on and off of sure. hard drive. Sure. And a lot of these patches, I mean, they're like 18 gig yeah. to yeah. reinstall a game, and you'd sit for however long. And now, thank God, they've gone external hard drive yeah. support. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now I'm back fully PS4 Pro. It's I, I will literally only buy games now. It feels like wow. that that thing. It's it is so. You've got one. You yeah, the pro? I do. Yeah, yeah. Somebody sent us one for a review and stuff like that. And I've just been. It has been my go-to. I PS4. had no idea how how different it was. Like to see how I thought a little. I mean, I'm not a big graphics guy. Sure. As far as like that's going to make the game, but man, it it is again religious experience. Good for some games in HDR is just like I I'll stop and just watch. Yep, and, just and that, watch. that's my thing is with it is. In terms of playing the games, I've n- never really noticed enough to even really t- talk about it that much on Gamescast of like, holy shit, this is a game right, changer. Because right, yeah. it's more just like, wow, this is really, really pretty. pretty. Like, it looks really good. Uh, right. For me, it's Horizon and Ratchet and Clank. And I would even yeah, Ratchet put and Ratchet and Clank, Clank above. It, it's Horizon. unreal. Like, Some of the particle effects unreal. in that game are unreal. Like I, sh- I was showing Kevin it and like even just spinning the camera around and right. looking at all. Right. It was like, I remember playing Ratchet and Clank on PS2 and being like, this this looks like this a Pixar, looks like this a looks Pixar, like a Pixar, Pixar movie, you know. And yeah. they had a that, I mean they had a hard time conveying that, right? I'm, Sony obviously knew that when they were launching this thing, and I'm sure Mark Cerny or whoever else was like, if people could just see this, yeah. at what we're trying to do here, it. I mean, to me, it's. I was telling Kevin earlier, like there's times in Horizon where I will because that world is so alive that I'll just get up to the top of a, I don't know if you guys have done this, like get up to the top of a mountain and just watch the dynamic sure the weather stuff, and, yeah yeah the the monsters kind of fighting one another the storm the sun birds fly, this coming i mean in and out like and what other game can you i mean or or a, you sit there and just watch this world kind of play out in front of you right it's it's phenomenal yeah i don't know it's the the ps4 pro is, is so interesting to me because for those moments i feel like they're so not gameplay related That's and, right. and not even yeah. just with the yeah, game yeah. i'm talking in terms of they don't really enhance the game at all, right. it's when you stop and you're trying to show off to your friends. Right. Like right. for me, it's more like, oh, my friends are coming over. I'm going to show them this thing. And, be and like, it's quiet. Can you imagine games nice. look like this? Oh yeah, it's yeah. way less. It's way quiet. Why you put your hand on your tornado. hip like that when you say that? Uh, I don't know. I just I'm, do play, it. I'm playing. I your do friend. it. I do it. <laughs> that was role um, but they, they really like it though because like, oh my god, this shit looks so good. Yeah. yeah. But my thing is, I like it more when it does the performance enhancing stuff, like with the when games have the better frame rate and. and so they're doing a lot of that too. There's a lot of these patches coming out, and have you guys seen any of that? Like on the old, old on the regular ps4 have you guys yeah. seen any of these enhanced burst boost modes have you seen i haven't I've I've heard about them now yeah that's the thing i've heard about them and i haven't caught them i don't look okay. i'm not a patch notes guy right yeah, yeah, like yeah. i turn yeah. on the, it's oh no, you're i mean physically seen them like have, have you done any of those because a few games i think came out with a new there's so the thing with games PS4. nowadays is you're so used to updating the games right that it's just like that's just part of playing a game now yeah, yeah. they're like you don't know whether or not which patch you. it is or whatever so but for me for on playing uh, with the pro when there is those things, most of the time I don't notice. And like, that's just the thing is like, really it's like, like Zelda with the jump. I'm button. Like, did I'm, you see, you can move the jump button now. Did you see that in the last? You could always do that. You could do it from the okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, th- I saw that yeah, last yeah, night. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, had, yeah, 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 gamer yeah. guy. <laughs> I saw it last night when I, cause it updated it. I was trying to update it on the plane. I'm like, mm-hmm. Oh no, don't lock me out of the game. Yeah, and yeah. I saw it said, you can move 
the jump button to the bottom button. I didn't. I'm pretty sure the Zelda. How did I fuck that up? I had no idea that was there. Yeah. The only thing that annoying me from the beginning. Oh really? That was like one of like I'm not a wide jump button. Oh no, that's because it's it's bullshit. Of course, but that that was one of the things I I was so impressed with where I was like. Oh, motion controls. Oh, jump button. I hit they controls. It's it. like, do you not want this shit turned off? I'm like, oh, great, thanks. Because now, now trying to relearn Why can't that, I fucking run with the stick, but no big deal. It sucks to relearn that after. Oh, sure. Forty hours of using. Yeah. I'm like, fuck. Then you play another game. You try to climb every wall, and it's yep. like, oh. The amount of people who have tweeted, I've seen tweets Ugh. of like them trying to jump and hitting triangle now. Like, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Anyways. Anyway. So no, though, I think the wife's cool with stuff. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's where yeah. it's all back to that from. topic. Yeah. So that, that hopefully this topic my, is my work my work community probably not as much. Are you going to show I, them this video? Uh, I you know I, it's funny I thought about it. Um, I don't know. Depends on who the person is, right? Okay. Depends yeah. on sort of where I think the reaction would be. Yeah. I don't, I don't think the company would care, but they're it's still got a little bit of a stigma to it, right? Just kind of like Depends. a again. You, yeah, yeah. Again, you guys are a little bit in the ball. totally hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, no, we're totally. The, <laughs> Again, this is like the... F- You're you like, know. no, I, I work in the real world, sir. No, no, I know no, no, what it's no, like. You've never worked like in the that. private sector. No, like I said, it's kind results. of my dream to go do that. Like, you know, go to like Shu and, and people at Microsoft, Aaron Greenberg. I mean, I mean, that's those. they're living their dream. They're yeah. working for a big company, but yeah. also doing something in the industry. So there's plenty of adult jobs in the industry. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there's still a ton of people. Like if you ask the... Like you were talking earlier, I think, on the, on the uh, morning show about like what would your grandparents think of some of this stuff, mm-hmm. right? There's still that group of people that... We'll never get past games being a sure childish. Well, that's why I was medium. so. I mean, don't get me wrong. My mom, my mom understands what games through me and what we do, all of that different stuff or whatever. But you know, I'll never forget when she played Wii Bowling. I was like, I want one of these. I was like, sure, you do, and she got what it. Amazing. And then that led to her buying a DS on her own. She only bought one really? horse game with it ever, but it doesn't matter. But then when she came to visit last time, <laughs> we put her in VR. And she did those VR oh, Let's Plays we did or whatever. And, it's, those it, the, some of and the for greatest. her to freak out, like, I can see my hands. Oh, my God, my feet. It was like, <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. With the exception of the Cisco episode, which was fun. I mean, th- those episodes are the, the best. Oh, thank you, thank you. I love the yeah, Cisco one. was great. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Kind of Funny Games cast. Each and every week we get together, talk about video games, all things we love about them. You can get it early over on Patreon.com slash Kind of Funny Games, or you can get it late on YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Games. That was the rigmarole. You latest podcast, that we've ever podcast, done it. But you got it and out of the way. Games cast, it but got we through. It. We can now move on it's to conversational the second show. topic of Topic the day. two. E3 to predictions, pounding. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. It's going to happen. June. This show, by the way. Nobody knows when it is. Thank you to Salem, got em, all got em What up, Patreon, Patreon producer? producer? You are the man, the myth, the legend. I want to talk about E3 predictions, and I want to put this out there now. This is, this is our, this like is right it. now, March 29th. Yeah. Kay. I want to have a... First round, let's start talking about E3, what Ooh. we think is going to happen from a, a big perspective. Later, obviously, we'll do more in-depth. We'll dive, you know, we'll uh, dive this deep. Rumor we'll dive in. Conference. What's going to happen? We'll take okay. bets. We'll make, you know, try to see what let's, we think is going to happen. We should throw some things out there that we can loop back to, as it were. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. And say, did we get it? Did we not get it? So all these topics that we're talking about Keep today. Score are topics that you have suggested yes, to us over yes. time. That I've been bugging you about as the for just shooting them out like crazy. Like, talk about this, talk about this. And so now, like, I cool, you're here. So and here we are. So we can it. do them. So E3, I what I want to talk about is the press conferences, mm-hmm. specifically the big three. Sure. Nintendo, Xbox. Ubisoft. PlayStation. Oh, PlayStation, right. Yeah. Sorry, my apologies. Ubisoft, and, and that's well, the well, new big Well, I'm three. sure we'll bring those guys up as well. But I want to talk about what we think they're going to do at their conferences. Mm. From a, just overall, because mm-hmm. last year and this year, very different landscapes that very we're dealing different. with, right? Changed last a lot. year, Nintendo comes out. They had their one game, which was Zelda. Amazing Zelda, booth for Zelda, but, but nothing else. Yeah, and people nothing. loved it. Yep. Game of the show from yep. so many people. Yep. But not us. Not us. We Horizon. Love it but yep. um, Zelda, that was their game. They didn't even do a direct. Uh, the previous years, Nintendo's been doing directs. Their yep. last E3 conference was... 2012, if not 2013. Maybe, no, it was 2013, because 14 was the first time they did a direct. We were still at IGN. Yeah. So, uh, Sony comes out. Games, games, games. They have to. Home run, home run, home run, Grand Slam. Sports references. You have not. You don't know how home One runs are. Run. <laughs> if you do four <laughs> home runs, in a row, that's a grand that's, slam, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's that, and then Xbox surprising everybody, yeah. coming out and being like very solid. Yeah, very solid conference. I'm out of yep. order on this, but of very, very solid conference. Announced Scorpio blowing people's minds. Nobody expected that. Yeah. Everyone expected PS4 Pro. That didn't happen. But getting very technical on stuff, Microsoft and Terra flops and all the shit yeah, that but them flops. 
Flop, Gotta flop, have man. them flops, man. Gotta it's have the funny. floppies. You talk about it, and that was the interesting thing, right, about both uh, PlayStation and Nintendo, right, where they had to get out in front of those stories, where yep. Nintendo's like, Switch will not be there, and PlayStation's like, we're <laughs> not doing the pro stuff. Like, that's not what this is about. For remind me. me, we knew about, we knew the Switch, we knew something was coming from Nintendo. But we, we knew dude, NX, we knew we X knew was going to give it to us. But we knew that NX would not be at E3, and we knew that Nintendo was only going to have one game at E3. Gotcha. And so they had Zelda. In addition to that, during their, so they did their... They released the Zelda trailer. I'm gonna grab a computer. I feel like I'm gonna need a computer. Okay. I need more historical get information. Data. Get yourself some data. This get some knowledge. The, yeah, sure. It was the it was knowledge the first, yourself up. Greg the first Miller. Zelda Breath of the Wild trailer where they revealed the name of the game. Okay. Oh, uh, that wasn't the first trailer. They revealed the name of the game. The first trailer was at E3 2014. Did they really uh, was, show one that far back? Yeah, it was 2014. Yeah, it must have been when uh, Remember we you, thought it was gonna be Wii U forever. You, so yeah, oh, yeah, it was right. a Wii U game. Yeah, yeah. And Link came right. out and like jumped and shot the guardian. Yeah. Yep. So, but we knew it was Breath of the Wild then, and then they went on to do the Nintendo Treehouse all There's day. The big daddy. <laughs> the the Treehouse all day where they they demoed Zelda and showed all the. Was that Treehouse awesome? By do. the way, like to see amazing. it from a, from a distance looked oh, freaking great. phenomenal. Yeah, they're they're so good. Like but they did talk about set. The, yeah. I mean, Nintendo E three like the actual set is. The, they they e, do the, it right. E three's okay. lineup of PlayStation next to Nintendo is always such a, a yeah. beautiful thing. Like right. their booths are awesome. Uh, but they did announce a bunch of random 3DS games as well, but that was like just during the Treehouse, and it was like smaller titles here and there, and like right. some Wii U stuff too, but nobody gave a fuck at all. Um, Literally, right? Yeah. So then, then yeah, there was PlayStation just straight killing it. But yeah, Microsoft was the one that was a bit more like they had a lot of the big AAA third party games. They had that Final Fantasy 15 showing that was embarrassing. Um, and then they, they showed Scale Bound. They showed Scale Bound. Well they got canceled. Yep. Yep, uh, a whole bunch of other stuff. Sea of Thieves. They all did. That. Did they do it? I think they did a Crackdown teaser, or was that the very end of it? I want to say they did, which I'm still questioning like where we, we are with Crackdown. crackdown. We haven't for seen Crackdown in a long time. I think it might have been painful. Last time. I think man, yeah, that's the thing. I think I, I don't think crackdown. crackdown was there last year, was it? I think they skipped. I mean, they they announced. I remember they announced it one year, and then they skipped, and everybody was like, yeah. "Where the hell is it?" Let me hit y'all with some of that sweet, nasty, nasty. If you click right here, you can subscribe to YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Games for way more of this content. Click here for way more just other Kind of Funny content, like, I don't know, The Morning Show and Game Over Greggy. You can click here for Patreon, and bam, you're giving us money. We can do cooler stuff. Andy Cortez can have a clone. 